never before seen events are happening in the world of Super Dragon Ball Heroes as the universal seed has blossomed into a tree and threatens to consume the entire multiverse as a part of Fuse's plan. When we last left off in Super Dragon Ball Heroes, thanks to the help from the God of Rome, Beerus and Champa used the powers of the Super Dragon Balls in order to wish for the destruction of the Universal Tree, causing it to wither away in an instant from Super Shinron's power. With his entire plan seemingly foiled now, Few now has his back against the wall as the Z Fighters look to take him out. However, this is when Toa arrives bearing a gift for him in the form of extremely dark energy. Few takes this dark energy he receives from Toa in the form of the will of the Dark Demon King and manifests it within himself, changing his entire appearance and increasing his power drastically as well. With new powers and their friends being separated from this now, Few combats both Super Saiyan 4 and Blue Vegito with seemingly exceeding power. Out of nowhere though, from the depths of the underworld, a surging power erupts and makes its way directly towards their battle. As this increasing power keeps approaching, the room begins to tremble under the might of this key until eventually, Broly the legendary Super Saiyan makes a surprise appearance. Broly goes straight for Vegito as a new battle begins, forcing the Saiyans to take their focus off of Few and the others for now as they watch on. Broly's power since their last battle however has long since turned into something much more menacing. Something vile. After escaping death so many times, the power of the legendary Super Saiyan which already seemed infinite, erupted even more and this led to him finally reaching a breaking point while battling the two Vegitos, causing him to transform into a legendary Super Saiyan 4. While Blue and Super Saiyan 4 Vegito are occupied with this insanely strong version of Broly, Demon God Few returns to the Universal Tree in order to continue his plan. As he flies back to the base of the tree, he raises his hand as the dark influence and aura of the Demon King flows through him, feeding more life back into the tree. Legendary Super Saiyan 4 Broly is still far too much for them to handle however while also trying to focus on Few as well, but this is when the tree begins to illuminate, casting a blinding light over the entire realm. As life is fed back into the tree, the two Vegitos have no more time to waste on Broly who destroys the dome therein as well. As the light begins to consume everything around them, Vegito Blue pushes his counterpart out of the way as he tells him to focus on Few while he takes on Broly. Broly attacks again in a relentless rampage, but Vegito simply uses his own momentum and flips Broly into the light emitting from the tree, taking them to who knows where as Vegito 4 is left to continue the battle with Few. While having two Vegitos in this battle may have it seem like everything is under control and normally I would agree with you. The interference from Broly has caused quite a problem, but not only that. The dark energy of the Saiyan Cumber also continues to pollute the realm as well, but Something still isn't right here. In this episode, Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 Vegito has one final chance to prevent Few from using the energy of the entire multiverse to make a new universe all his own. Remember guys, this is Super Dragon Ball Heroes, so in no way is anything you're about to see canon to the main timeline, as this is just all a promotional anime for the arcade game. If you are interested in checking it out for yourselves, however, Super Dragon Ball Heroes can be found all over YouTube in both raw and sub versions. As always though, I'll be sure to have the video that I watched specifically down in the description box, so be sure to go check it out. Don't forget to have those notifications turned on to never miss an upload as soon as they go live guys, no matter what anime we're talking about that day. And if you've been enjoying all of the content recently, consider leaving a like on this video as well, it really helps out a ton. Be sure to follow on both Twitch and Twitter to stay up with me and all Dragon Ball related content. But without further ado. As we arrive back in the middle of a historic battle between realms, Vegito Blue has taken it upon himself to focus on Broly while Xeno Vegito is left to stop Few and destroy the Universal Tree once and for all. As the tree illuminates the entire realm, the energy it's given birth to is held in the palm of Few's hand. This isn't exactly what I'd call a new universe, Few says, looking disappointed at the product of the tree. How unsightly. After all, 
the power of the dark demon world and the god bird are forcing the birth of the universe, which originally takes a long time. However, the results are quite interesting, he says. All of a sudden, Super Saiyan 4 Limit Breaker Vegito charges back at Few, who easily dodges his attacks while keeping the new universe intact in his hand. Persistent, he says to Vegito, who deflects Few's blast with a single hand. Few backs off again as Vegito continues to try and fight, however Few doesn't even drop the universe that he carries. My experiment isn't over until I make my ideal universe, Few says. But Vegito has no interest in letting that happen as he charges Few again, but misses all of his attacks as Few just floats backwards. He releases the new universe created into the sky as Vegito tries to go for that instead, but Few cuts him off saying that he'll never let him pass. Few and Vegito go on to clash in hand-to-hand -hand combat now, but Vegito still seems to hold the slight advantage in that department. He blocks Few's attacks and then, after grabbing his arm, Vegito key blasts him in the center of his torso, sending him flying backwards, but it does no damage to him really. You want to see it too though, right? Few says to him, floating back into the sky. My new universe. As the orb in the sky grows in strength, it seems that even Toa is growing concerned now. He doesn't seem like your ideal king now, does he? Demigras says, spectating the battle. Silence, Toa says to him, as she then transforms and powers up. Oh, you plan to fight me as a Majin, Demigras says? But Toa assures him that she doesn't even need to get serious. I'm not so sure about that, Robel says, as she too transforms and then the fight begins between her and Toa, as she tells Demigras not to worry about a thing. She charges at Toa with her sword, releasing a lightning attack that forces Toa to summon her staff to protect herself and counter. Demigra tells Robel to handle Toa as he goes on to lurk on the battle between Vegito and Few, who have turned up the heat in the skies as well. This is when we see Vegito now using his spirit sword technique and Few, who has summoned his blade as well, clash in the skies back and forth. Vegito continues to put the pressure on Few, shooting key blasts that are easily deflected, but Vegito slices right through the smoke and continues to chase down Few as the two come to a stalemate in the sky. Seeing his chance, now that the two of them are stationary, Demigra uses his time labyrinth to freeze them in space outside of the tree. However, his true plan here still seems shrouded in mystery. And how long do you really think that'll keep Few trapped, Toa says unimpressed. However, Demigra isn't so sure of her doubts as he and Robel then take their leave to an unknown location, disappearing again from the battle. Back in the God Realm on Beerus' planet, we see Whis and Vados who sense something very strange going on in the lower realms. I sense a movement of great power, Vados says. Have you felt it as well? She asks Whis turning around. It's as if a new universe is being born. I myself am ignoring the providence of the distorted universe, Whis replies. Lord Beerus may feel that way as well, he mentions, looking over to him and Champa. By the way, Vados continues, where are Son Goku and Vegeta? If it's those two, Whis begins as he closes his eyes to try and sense the energy and happenings throughout the universe. Back at the scene of the Universal Tree, we're brought back to the distorted universe manufactured by Few that continues to develop and seems to already contain much within. This is when we dive deeper into the distorted universe and see on a planet that very much resembles Earth. Goku, flat on his face, after being brought here. I'm sure they're all right, however Whis finishes, referring to the two Saiyans. After being dumped off in this place, Goku finally regains consciousness as he gets to his feet. Where am I, he says. This is when he looks around and sees a building that kind of resembles Capsule Corp. But something is very off about this entire place. While this may look like West City, this place is as devoid of life as possible, as it seems like Goku may be the only one here. Meaning that their enemies have succeeded in separating all of them once again, allowing more time for this new distorted universe to grow and continue to contort reality. 